hi everyone in uh, today's video on great circle sailing we will learn how to find the distance and initial course angle especially if two different hemispheres are involved so the question is you're about to sail a great circle from point a which is 12 degrees 20 minutes north and 0 to 5 degrees 22 minutes west to point b which is 55 degrees 19 minutes south and 75 degrees 17 minutes east you have to find the great circle distance and the initial course angle all right so here we have a and we have b all right so a is 12 degrees 20 minutes north 25 degrees 22 minutes west and 55 degrees 19 minutes south and 75 degrees 17 minutes east now remember before you draw the diagram look at both the latitudes the latitude with the higher value which is south in this case will determine the pole so the pole here becomes south pole because the south latitude is more also make sure that you look at the longitudes as well and determine the shortest distance between the two longitudes and draw the diagram accordingly now how can you determine that now when you find out the d long between the two positions here position b and a the longitudes are in different hemispheres one is in east one is in west so to find the d long different names i will add so i will add the two and i will determine the d long which is also angle p in the diagram so here it is 100 degrees 39 minutes now because this is less than 180 we will draw east to the right side when we face the screen and west to the left side assuming that we have drawn it with respect to the prime meridian or greenwich meridian or 000 degrees meridian if this was value was more than 180 we would have drawn it with respect to the anti meridian and east would have gone to the left and west would have gone to the right side now once you have drawn this diagram pb pb equals 90 degrees minus 55 degrees 19 minutes which is 34 degrees 41 minutes so latitude b is this is latitude b 55 degrees 19 minutes from equator so this is equator 0 degrees so pb would be 90 minus the latitude of b because from equator to the pole is 90 degrees similarly from equator to the pole is 90 degrees on a side as well and then we have a to 0 degrees to a as the latitude of a which is 12 degrees 20 minutes so in this case p a would be 90 plus the latitude of a so 90 plus 12 degrees 20 minutes which is 102 degrees 20 minutes once you have labeled the two sides and the angle included between it so side p a and p b and the angle included between it is angle p you can use the cosine rule all right you can use the cosine rule which means cos of p the angle included between the two sides equals cos of the side opposite to angle p cos a b minus product of the other two sides p a and p b divided by sine p a and sine p b so the same two sides come here as well a b is the side opposite to angle p so angle p is the included angle between the two sides or two known sides so cos of p equals cos of a b minus cos of p a cos p b divided by sin p a sin p b so cos of the angle in included between the known sides is p equals cos of the side opposite to it which is a b minus cos of the remaining two sides cos p a cos p b divided by the same two sides sin p a sin p b now i need to find a b because that's the great circle distance so i need to isolate it so what will i do i will take the denominator here division becomes multiplication and this is the equation that is formed the other side remains the way it is and then this goes to the other side which means cos of a b then becomes equal to cos p multiplied by sin p a multiplied by sin p b plus cos p a multiplied by cos p b so cos a b will then become just putting the values for p p a p b 
you know the values already and then it's simply deriving these values from the calculator so you can match the values that i have put up on my screen here so cos of ab equals negative 0 0.27838 remember to respect the signs the signs have to be respected in both the cases you will get negative so you have to add them but it results in a negative number so ab then becomes cos inverse of this value here so ab equals 106 degrees 9.8 minutes so ab is equal to 1069.8 multiplied by so ab as the side of a spherical triangle is equal to 106 degrees 9.8 minutes but ab as the great circle distance has to be calculated by multiplying the value of the side in degrees and minutes by 60 because 1 degree equals 60 minutes so 106 degrees 9.8 minutes equals 6369.83 miles that is the answer for finding out the great circle distance but we also have to find out the initial course angle or ICA initial course angle or cos A or angle A so when we say initial course angle we mean this angle here but the angle has to be found with respect to the north because the course initial course angle is this angle A here but the true course if somebody asks you what is the initial course what is the course then we have to answer it with respect to the north so let me show you how to do it so we are going to try and find this angle here first angle a this angle here so to do that now that you know a b you know that a b is equal to 106 degrees 9.8 minutes so you know the two sides between which a is situated so side a b and side p a are the two sides between which a is situated you know both the sides so you can use the cosine rule again so cos of the a equals cos of the side opposite to it which is cos pb minus cos of the remaining two sides or cos ab cos pa divided by the same two sides but the sine of which comes in the denominator so simply put the values you know the value of pb ab and pa simply put the values here use your calculator or scientific calculator and make sure your values are matching with mine so you will get cos a equals 0 0.81300 cos inverse equals 35 degrees 36.6 minutes this is the value of angle a in the spherical triangle so that means this is the value of spherical triangle a 35 degrees 36.6 minutes so although this is a value of angle a we cannot call it the course because the course has to be with respect to the north hemisphere measured clockwise what you have found is with respect to the south pole going towards east you can see here your vessel is going eastward from a to b it's going eastward right this is how your vessel is going so the angle that you have found with respect to the south pole is a angle that you are measuring going eastward this way right so if you go eastward from southern hemisphere by 34 degrees 36.6 minutes this is what you have found and this is the south pole 180 degrees so what is this angle here if i measure it with respect to the anti uh, with the north hemisphere because this is what the course will be initial course angle is always measured with respect to the north direction measured clockwise so this angle here would be 180 degrees minus 34 degrees oh sorry not 34 35 degrees 35 degrees 35 degrees 36.6 minutes so the answer would be 144 degrees i think 23.4 minutes so that is your true course so your true course angle is 144 degrees 23.4 minutes so although you might think that angle a is giving me the initial course remember it is giving the value with respect to the southern hemisphere but you have to measure the course angle with respect to the northern hemisphere measured clockwise. Thank you for watching today's video and share, like, subscribe, comment and I will see you soon with 